What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about health. Okay, now, a lot of people take health for granted, and these are not my words. Well, these is my words, but the observations that I'm making is not based on my opinion. It's based on fact, okay, of how you see things, because think about it. I'm going to say mm, 90% of Americans is not healthy, okay? 90% of America is unhealthy, and this is real talk, okay? Okay, this is, like, literally, like, an epidemic, okay, that people really don't pay attention to, like, okay, let's see. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, stuff like diabetes, uh, cancer, um, heartburn, uh, constipation, um, you know, arthritis, all these things, like, literally, like, all man-made diseases, it starts from your intestines. A lot of people don't know this, okay? It's like, your intestines is, like, so special and divine. It's just, if they clogged, then you become acidic. You see what I'm saying? You become stagnant. You become stale. Real shit. Like this. Think about it like this. Everything passes through your intestines because... Your body don't receive food when it's a mass, when it's a matter. You see how you eat, like, chips, for example. That's matter. But once it goes into your body, your body can then perceive it for what it really is once it turns into a liquid form. Because once it turns into a liquid form, it goes to your penile gland. You know, so once it's a, um, a liquid and it's in your penile gland, it makes you act a certain way, okay? It makes you react to the components in that food slash ingredients to make you act a certain way you see what i'm saying so it's like basically if you feel it i mean if you have any of these problems it's because your intestines is backed up okay and you have to clear these blockages because look basically when people say um body snatchers and alien entities alien entities is like little worms that get into your body from food real shit it's not nasty i mean it's nasty but it's like, this is normal. It's like bacteria, but these things are called superbugs, okay? You can go look this stuff up for yourself, and it's in the food. It's mostly in the meats. And, um, basically, it's an alien entity because it's a foreign living thing that's entering your body. It's entering your universe. You see what I'm saying? So, like, if we humans go to Mars and it's actually life on Mars, they will be aliens to us and we will be aliens to them because an alien is somebody or a foreign, a foreign extraterrestrial that's not from a place. If we're not from Mars, we aliens to them because we're not from there. You see what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's all about cleaning your blockages and stuff. That's why people have to get colonoscopies, okay, because they have to check your colon to see if it's any, you know, blockages because if it's any blockages, then that's a breeding ground for acidic body and with an acidic body that's how you die that's how you catch these sicknesses ain't no such thing as a sickness okay it's all in your mind so once you get over those mind hurdles you know you can you know excel so i'm just letting you know like to get rid of any sickness in this world you have to um yeah Okay, look, to get rid of any sickness in this world, you have to clean your intestines up, okay? You have to get rid of all them blockages because, your, look, our bodies are 90% water, basically. You might as well say. The other 10% would be our bones. But our bones, really, that ain't nothing but fluids either, but it's like preserved fluids. You see what I'm saying? People don't really understand, like bone marrow and whatnot. But um, it's all about your intestines, really, because your organs, all this stuff... Like, if your intestines is clogged, your intestines, your large intestine is huge, your small intestine is small. So, if these things are clogged and they are bloated, it kind of cramps your organs, you see what I'm saying? It kind of make your body, you know, deformed in a way. Like, it's weird. Like, just know, like, if you want to get rid of any sickness in this world, you have to water detox, okay? You have to water detox. And not just any tap water. Like, sit your water in the sun. Get distilled water, sit it in the sun, and drink it. I'm telling you, it will cleanse your body. Okay, it will cleanse everything about you. And there is, um, 
a lot of doctors out there saying that you can drink your own urine. It's called urine therapy, okay? I never tried this. I know of it, okay? But people want to say, like, your urine is disgusting. That's what the media and the news and all this shit put into your head because people really don't know that your urine is actually distilled water because, look, your organs, like your liver and your kidneys and all that, these ain't nothing but processing machines, okay, that cleanse. They are nothing but cleaning processes. So all the stuff that you eat and it turns to a liquid form, it's processed through your liver, it's processed through your kidneys. And as it's processed, it takes all the good stuff out and disposes of all the bad stuff. So people would be like, okay, your urine has a lot of bad stuff in it. That's true, but it also has a lot of good components. But whatever you eat and drink, that's what's going to be in your urine. You see what I'm saying? So if you, if you just drink water all day and you drink your urine, you see what I'm saying? You putting all every every good component right back into your body. People don't know about this. And your urine can be used to sterilize things. People don't know that because it's purified water. It just comes out golden. Real shit. And when you drink a lot of water, it comes out very clear. You see? So real talk, like, look into that. Urine therapy. That shit's some crazy shit, man. Real talk. People don't even know. It's like there's a lot of knowledge out here people don't know, man. This shit's serious. Like the planet. You get it? Serious?